Hello, this is Cooking Lemon. Uh, once again, I've got a box from Student Group, my good friends at this point. And today I'm cooking the chickpea and butternut squash curry, which to my surprise also includes sweet potatoes. I've got a mug of boiling water here, because I get terribly red eyes whenever I'm chopping onions. So apparently this is one of the tricks that can help it stop. That, the mug doesn't work. At least I hate chopping garlic. I think I'm going to invest in a crusher. Jimmy Oliver swears by it. I've never actually attempted to prepare a squash before. So this could be quite interesting. It doesn't seem regular people that don't like very well. So I figured I'm going to go for this thing. See how it goes. It's hard. Oh, it's a whole other sound. That's news. Just getting all the seeds and pop out of my squash. Okay, the squash is going all right. I'm just trying to get the pieces kind of uniform. Just struggling to get cubes that come out similar size. Well, it's not going to be perfect. Just got to taste good. Again, I don't really mind rough bits at this point. Nice kind of chunks of this thing. Just peeling the sweet potatoes. I'm actually in love with this new peeler. I mean, I prefer doing it the other way, but this is so quick and easy. You can't really. Argue. Okay, we've got the sweet potato here, already peeled it and just <laughs> gonna get it into small chunks similar to how we did the squash and similarly difficult to cut. Just gonna let them soften up for about five minutes. Yeah, no room. Well, there was no room and then I'm still adding stuff, so there's super no room. Okay, I'm about to transfer my efforts to two different pots and pans because it was far too much just for one. So, there's more food. Well, same amount of food. Oops. It's going to be a lot more, a bit more manageable this way. Just added a bit of extra moisture in there. 200 mils per pan. Okay, just about ready to cover up and let them start cooking. Okay, we've got the finished product. Managed to combine it back into one pan after it reduced down a little bit. And now, just giving everyone a couple of big spoonfuls. Decided to serve it on its own because I've ended up with plenty of food. So there we have our is it chickpea and butternut squash curry. Done.